Hi, welcome to The Visitation here on AM820. This is Mary Beth Eberhard here with my very good friend, Lisa Iglesias. Hey, Mary Beth. Hey, lady. I have gotten to spend tons of time with you lately, and it's been amazing. Thank you um, so much. We so just great. celebrated our 25th anniversary, and I want to say thank you to you because it meant so much to me that your family was there and that, um, you know, when you get to plan your your anniversary mass, um, uh, you, you, you think of all the people that mean so much to you. And I remember trying to call you to be like, Hey, will you do the reading? <laughs> and, um, and we kept like missing each other. Yes. And so finally I sent you the text, which was like, this is meant in all the like smushiness and how much I love you. And you are the bestest of friends, <laughs> oh, whatever. But, um, but it would mean so much to me if you would do this reading um, for us. And um, and that reading, of course, um, was from Tobit because um, when you have been married a, an, an extended period of time, um, you realize the importance of turning to prayer, right? How you turn... Um, you, you look back on your life. You know, I was looking up at the altar there of all the priests on the altar and um, and the seminarians and deacons, and I was thinking, like, wow, we have journeyed with all of these people. Um, and um, and I have I have turned so much, or I've turned to prayer for so many of them and the yeah. power of that prayer, right, and the relationships that have been formed through that prayer. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know that Father, in his homily um, for our Mass, he talked about how um, you know, Ryan, my husband and I, we we walk together, um, you know, kind of that like triangle, right? Yeah. Like um, up toward Jesus. And I was putting, like I was putting you, like when you went um, up, I was like, oh, I have journeyed with her. Aww. And I have, you know, journeyed with Deacon Doug and, and, and you know, mm-hmm. e- each of us in our own way. Um, but in that reading of Tobit, um, they, uh, he's been, um, they're getting married. This is, what time is it? It's like the seventh time? Um, uh, yeah, I think his wife uh, that he's about to marry. Yes. <laughs> they've, they've married her uh, seven times. Seven and, times. And each of the men, sadly, um, died. Died, <laughs> yes. Um, if, but um, Tobit has a strategy for this, right? Mm-hmm. Like he is, he says, um, we're going to turn this to prayer. Mm-hmm. Um, and... Do you have that? And what's beautiful that? is, yeah, so... Um, Do you have it in front of you? I, okay. And yeah, so that's, this one is um, Tobit, chapter 8, uh, 4 to 8. So on their wedding night, Tobiah arose from bed and said to his wife, Sister, get up, let us pray and beg our Lord to have mercy on us and to grant us deliverance. And so they got up and they pray and um, uh, just... Uh, these are the words, blessed are you, O God of our fathers, praised be your name forever and ever. The heavens and all your creation praise you forever. You made Adam and you gave him his wife Eve to be his help and support. And from these two, the human race descended. You said, it is not good for the man to be alone. Let us make him a partner like himself. Now, Lord, you know that I take this wife of mine, not because of lust, but for a noble purpose Call down your mercy on me and on her and allow us to live together to a happy old age. They said together, amen, amen. I love that. I love it too. It's so beautiful. And um, the beautiful part about that that image that Father was sharing about the triangle, um, what really struck me was, I feel like we've heard that. We've, we know what a triangle shape is. We understand the idea of like, well, we're, we're growing together and our love and we, you know, the goal is heaven and mm-hmm. oh, it's so beautiful. But what he added was something I hadn't heard before. And it was about um, your family and the experience that, as he shared, all of us in that room uh, in Sanctuary Brave will have experienced. And I, it, gave me pause to think, have I lived that fully? And if I haven't, I want to, because what he was Mm -hmm. saying was, um, that, you know, in life and in, in perhaps you're in your marriage, blessed with children. And as that happens, um, your home can, you know, begins to open up to others and, and you have, um, this opportunity to truly be this domestic church where people encounter Jesus. And 
that happens in your household. And so I just felt so blessed. Like, like if I, if I had the courage, I would have stood up and said, amen, father, you know, like when he got to that point, because all of us, I could feel like we're, you know, I was sitting nodding, you know, and, Thanks. and they were just like, that is how cool. And, um, that kind of openness to other people coming into getting to know Jesus's love just by, um, the love that they're feeling, the safety that they're feeling in, um, your, your, you know, your married couple's household, your home, mm -hmm. it doesn't just, uh, it comes from a place and it comes from that, uh, unity of marriage and, um, that, 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 uh, that us as couples have this, a uh, profound, um, place in the Lord's work and in, in, in this, um, bringing the world to him. Yeah, no, I agree. I think that the, the beauty of being married and surrendering, surrendering that vocation um, to the Lord, um, recognizing it as a gift, mm -hmm. because, um, you know, after after the mass, we had a reception and then Ryan and I, um, we went away for a few days and it was it was lovely. It was lovely. Um, I appreciated all of your, your little texts and, and you're welcome. Yes. Your, you're welcome. your encouragement of um, lots of hearts. Yes. Hearts, flowers. flowers, you know, Cupid arrows. I yes, got them all. Absolutely. Yep, thank you for that. You're welcome. Um, and, um, and Ryan appreciated them too. Oh, he excellent. pointed, you know, and he was like, Hey, I mean, like she is saying there's, there's encouragement absolutely. here. Um, <laughs> and, but that time away is necessary. Right. And, and, and I was grateful for it, but it, it also drew me back to the importance of um, of ha making time for being intimate with my husband um, in the not on the mountaintop. Mm -hmm. All right. So you know, I was I was thinking like, here we are. This is wonderful. We're we're laughing. We're 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 you know having you know time together, walking on the beach, all of that. But in, you know, we've had 25 years of in like kind of the nitty gritty of, of life. And I was looking back on um, and smiling through all of those times of um, honestly of being intimate and um, in recognizing that God had drawn us together and the strength that we drew um, and continue to draw from one another Um and I was encouraging myself. I'm like, man, you know, you've got hopefully 25 more at least in in, in this calling, and to to um, to be more receptive, to be more open, to recognize that um, that instead of putting all of the concerns of everyday life. Um, the like, oh, we've got, I've got, uh, you know, X amount of activities going on today. Mm -hmm. the and busy schedule, yeah, the so. busy, the busyness, right. Um, to make time for, um, being one with my, my husband. Mm -hmm. So, um, but how, like, mm -hmm. how, how do we do that? Right. Because, um, by the end of the day, I am often exhausted oh, and, yeah. you know, my youngest is 10, my oldest is 20. Um, but I remember having younger kids. I remember being extremely spent. Mm -hmm. I remember being ex extremely touched out. Right? Yes. Um, and um, such that I would, you know, crawl into bed, wrap that, you know, comforter around me and kind of, you know, roll over and be like, <laughs> in, in good night to you, my yes. friend. Um, <laughs> but, um, but then, you know, I, I think I can speak for you here. Like, I, I am blessed that the um, the touch of my husband, it, like just his, like the way that he will like put his hand on mine is, and you know, I'm kind of like, oh, he calls mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. He says, you know, like, woman, let's, let's pray, you mm -hmm. know, and he, he's not saying, hey, woman, let's pray. But, um, but in some sense, that is where our hearts need to turn to, mm -hmm. right? Um, and so I was saying to myself, in those moments when you are not feeling like you want to be, um, you know, that you want to be intimate with your husband, right? Um, pray. Like, woman, let's pray. It's, yeah. it's kind of what came on my heart. Absolutely. I, I also um, think that what can also get in the way is, let's just, you know, let's, I, I don't want to leave that um, peaceful um, safe place that you just took us to, but like, no, like no. back, we back up a little bit more back up to like, you know, that day that, um, 
um, if if you know you're anything like me, oh, what also in, is part wrapped up in that uh, touched out or um, <laughs> or busy day or you know is is all the ways and places I failed, all the ways and places that I'm just the worst. Mm. Um, the things that I said or didn't say, how I didn't show up, how to, and that That's stays so with true. me till the end of the day. And then if the end of the day is, you know, in our household, uh, my husband comes home at the end of the day, you know, we have dinner sometimes it's uh, way after <laughs> you should, I mean, perfect for if you lived in Miami, Florida, like eight o'clock is a great time to eat dinner, but not here. We usually <laughs> 36, right? So, uh, but ministry, you know, calls and, um, Praise God for that. But anyway, schedules. Yeah, that's that's there So f- for me. And when that's there for me and I feel, um, I don't just, I don't even sure. Uh, dirty is not the word. Uh, that, that's a different, that's a different meaning, but more like um, just not me. I just not, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm. I'm I'm awash in all of this neg- negative stuff, and I'm and I'm clo- I'm clinging to it like your warm cozy blanket, mm. like that's, and then I'm gonna put my head on the pillow and probably shed a tear too. So am I am I am I available even Are you open and, at and all, receptive? or, no. or have I just shut myself down in a wall really of not necessarily um hey I'm tired got a headache baby sorry let's check it out tomorrow, right. <laughs> but more like um. Yeah, I don't even I don't even want me right now. So when I'm in that that headspace, mm-hmm. gosh, what I absolutely need is again prayer. And yeah. so that has that has changed my life. It has changed my marriage. It has changed um, who I see myself to be. I love actually right now where we get to talk. I am looking at Jesus right now on the crucifix right above your head, and I just um, such an encouragement to just uh, be who. He's asking me to be. So I just want to, I'm glad to get to share with you. But I, um, so, so in prayer, what is that? That's just a complete like openness, you know, you know, Lord, or, you know, hello. As soon as you open that door, he can enter, he can heal. And, you know, like you said, dear friend here, you know, beside me, <laughs> who is, who is, um, wanting to love you back right your husband mm-hmm. they're just just ready wanting to love you and um uh that that type of healing can then then the then it's like a you know you're then able to receive you know that that gentleness from the lord but then um and such a tangible way you know his love you know by being open to your husband yeah it's interesting to um, you're so right that we can be our own, um, you know, our worst enemy in in sense because um, never would my husband look upon me in the way that I look upon myself. Oh, you know, and, and especially, I, you know, it resonated with me what you were saying about the end of the day because you know we've built upon all of the things we're saying to ourselves, and um, I think the world says that this moment of of being intimate, this moment of of coming together as husband and wife needs to look a certain way, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. And the reality is, it doesn't. And yeah. and 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 so um, now, like you know, again, we've created this this you know space here um, in the studio today where um, it just feels sacred because there's that there's like a shedding off of what the world says is beautiful and a recognition of what is truly beautiful in order to come together as one. Mm. All right. So what is really beautiful is that my beloved is looking upon me knowing wholly who I am mm. and and finds me beautiful. Mm. Right? Yeah. Um, and and that beauty is just not a visual beauty. It's a recognition that like um I can, you know, blah, 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 all, you know, all of the day away uh, as to everything um, that was, um, everything that was, everything that, you know, happened. Mm. But, and then he says, okay, now take my hand and let's journey together here. And Mm. it's beautiful. It's sacred. And I want to encourage 
um, myself, I want to encourage you, girl, Mm -hmm. because I always want you to call me higher and Mm -hmm. I want to encourage you and anybody that's listening. The importance of taking time to come together with your husband Mm -hmm. um, in an intimate way is is vital because um, it, it reminds you of who you are. It reminds you of whose you are. Mm. Um, it um, and, and 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 I'm telling you, it doesn't matter if it's like some, you know, like amazing. It, but but it, it it it's the fact that you have taken this time together, um, and and maybe the same for you know like you know you have you you go off for retreats and you have these amazing prayerful, um, but then sometimes you have that uh, is it a supplication that you you know like you 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 throw up a prayer and you're like wow i needed that prayer to go up to the lord right there and like the release that comes with just that like who i just gave that to the lord mm-hmm. um sometimes we have to just we have to well, all times we have to give it to the lord mm-hmm. and and um and and I, I, I think it's important to say that, that this doesn't mean that every time like um, my husband, you know, wants to, um, you know, have me be a wife in that way um, or that I want, you know, to be the, that it's like it's a drudgery. Gosh, no. <laughs> right. But um, because, you know, I, I've, attraction is real. You know, mm-hmm. that's why the Lord has called us together. But there are moments mm-hmm. when um, that I think that we like that as a society, we as a, a, a church need to address and say, um, this is important. Mm-hmm. This is really, this is sacred. And actually, so, so, so ridiculous, right? Like, um, uh, for us, we, uh, perhaps we feel like, you know, um, gosh, we feel this is, uh, this is important. This is on our heart. Um, and, and the world, you know, portrays, um, this whole subject in such a bizarre and, uh, uh, in all these different manner, you know, form, but, but if for us to talk about this, like, Oh goodness, you know, we, Lord, you know, help us have the right words to, you know, to be gentle and, you know, be able to share and speak together about, you know, intimacy. <laughs> and it's like, um, gosh, you know, so uh, there was one thing as you were, as you were just sharing, I was just thinking, um, you were you touched on something just so beautiful that I actually heard on the, here on AMA 20, uh, Father Sash Daily saying, um, the other day he was talking about um, where we can see Jesus face to face. Like at the end of our life, um, praise God, please, Lord, um, that we would you know, mm. be there, the beatific vision, seeing Jesus face to face. And where are the other places? You know, we see him at mass, you know, in the Eucharist. We see him in adoration. We see him um, in confession. And that for me is powerful in the the bit that I was uh, kind of bringing to conversation um, where I find myself often at the end of the day. <clears throat> uh, and that the Lord in confession, he sees, he doesn't see me the way I see myself as I walk in, right? He sees me as he made me and I'm daughter and I'm loved and cherished and heard and seen and um and all the rest you know he absolves me and then I'm try again you know let's go try again and um so too this holy I I think a lot of times we can say oh our priests are so holy our our um our consecrated sisters and Mm others oh they're so holy what beautiful vocation and and yeah I'm I'm in the vocation of marriage You, you know yeah it's messy and busy and hard and full of sacrifice and <laughs> it's also full of, of the good too but like um but now look look it's also a holy vocation and then um surprisingly hey guess what there's this big surprise this part of being married can can lead you to knowing better the face of jesus like wow it's beautiful you're listening to am820 thank you for joining us on the visitation, Lisa, I love that you were just um, sharing that the, the moment of visiting or uh, seeing the face of Jesus, right? Um, I was, I, I felt like I was beaming while um, listening to you because you, you know, that's some fire that you're throwing down there as far as um, recognizing 
the divine, recognizing the divine in our vocation of marriage. Um, and, um, and I just love, I just, I just love watching. Um, yeah, I, I love sitting across from you and Vivian. Like, um, when I shared with you, I was like, "Hey, I want to talk about this oh, today." Likewise, and, and I got scared. <laughs> but then the, I was like, "Lord, she's, 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 um, she, is, she's your vessel, and that's beautiful." Um, I love that you brought out the point of the vocations of. Um, of being a priest, of, of, of being religious, um, and how that is, um, that has its own union. Yeah. Amen. And, um, you know, I love also that, um, you know, our Bishop and, um, and Holy priest call and remind us that, um, you know, away from the idea of like, oh, what you gonna do when you grow up? Oh, you gonna you you're, you're gonna get married? You gonna do this and that? And um, they're they're calling it out, calling out just like um, you know, our Holy Father when he gave us the luminous mysteries calls out. You know, the wedding feast of Cana becomes the second luminous mystery. Like, boom, that suddenly is phenomenally important. Wait, can we take a let's take a step back? Wait, marriage is up in there. Wow, like he he. Let's remember, Jesus went to a wedding. Okay, wow. Wait, wait, he, he took his first step to Calvary by being at that wedding and performing that miracle. Like he was like, okay, I'm out here. This is it. It's go time. Wow. Like, mm. let's just lean into that. Like, yeah. Like, you know, he wants us there. If he's called us there, it's, it's, it's just like that call to priesthood. It's just that, that call to religious life. And to, and, and you know what? Take a minute, close your eyes and own it. Like right. we can, this is, this is. It can be holy. And, and and to recognize that just as Jesus ministry, like that there's a fullness mm. to it, right? There's a fullness to to marriage. There's a fullness to your vocation. Um, that, that there's a fullness, a richness, a depth. Um, and you ha- and and we're called to enter into all of it um, and to celebrate it. Um, I, I think maybe only maybe only Catholics are, um, could jokingly be like, yeah, I celebrate, you know, my, my, my suffering. I celebrate my, um, but in truth, like, you know, you look back on your life and you're like, yes, this is, um, this is, you know, I, I celebrate because I've, I've grown so much. Right. And I think, um, all Christians do, we celebrate that walk with, um, with the Lord. Um, but I, I'm, I'm celebrating also, um, the fact that within the vocation of marriage, within that sacrament, I have that um, that time to um, be loved, to be fully known, fully seen, and to encounter the Lord in that way um, together with my husband. And how unitive, how much that draws us together. Mm. Um, and that we can then, um, no matter what happens, um, you know, tomorrow or that we we are strengthened together mm-hmm. um, by that time together, yeah. and so um, you know, as this uh, as we enter into my twenty fifth plus, plus three days yeah. um, of marriage here, um, I want to um, I want to be grateful. I want to, as you said, as as Tobit said, right? Like I want to make sure that we turn to prayer, um, that we we take um, everything, you know. Um, our joys, our struggles, um, the 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 time, the necessity of time with our husbands, um, our parenting, to prayer to the Lord, mm-hmm. yeah. and, um, and and to, and don't be afraid because um, I um, you always generously say I'm just a couple years ahead of you in life, um, but but I was I was raised where we you did not talk about this mm. and you didn't talk about that. Um, uh, whether you were struggling in this area of marriage or whether you were like you had uh, the light bulb had gone on for you and you had been told or somehow uh, uh, someone shared with you this beauty and that that is this is a holy actually this vocation and uh, and don't be yeah so if, if that was never shared with you and and maybe you've never had that kind of conversation with in your marriage uh, it, I give you permission. You have permission to like talk about it. Go, hey, did you know that like all this is could be, this is all holy actually, and uh, and and we can you know live in this this newness. Let's give it a try. 
you know, so, so I encourage, I encourage everybody in that direction too. You're so fantastic. All right, let's pray in the name of the father and the son and the Holy spirit. Jesus, I thank you for, uh, the gift of this time together with Lisa and with everyone gathered with us here. And, um, and I ask you to bless, um, to bless, to bless our hearts, bless bless our um, our vocations, bless where we are in this moment, Lord, and and help us um, help us grow, help us open our hearts to where you are calling us to be, and um, and fill us with the joy that um, comes with with knowing you. In your name, we pray. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey, lady, thanks for thanks for joining me today. Thank you. Um, thanks. All right, I'll see you next time.